Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Hyundai's best-selling SUV and one of the top three best-selling SUVs in India. This is the 2022 Hyundai Creta petrol automatic. So let's start reviewing. Let's check out the details of the car. First, let's see what's under the hood. This car is powered by 1.4 liter turbo petrol engine, which produces 140 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. The engine layout is very compact, it is well insulated and let's check out the front appeal of the car. It does not get any updates from the 2021 variant. The grille is very broad and beautifully surrounded with chrome. It gets LED day running headlamps, trio beam projectors, but the indicators are placed in a very weird location. You get this functional air vent for better aerodynamics. You get this cool skid plate which makes it very sporty. The overall front is futuristic and sporty. Let's take the side appeal of the car. This car runs on 17 inch alloy wheels which are designed very sportily. The top end variant gets dual tone alloy wheels. This one looks kind of bland without the dual tone alloy wheels. It gets a black body cladding which makes it look like a proper off-roader. The 1.5 litre variant gets silver accents but this misses out on the silver accents. You only get request sensor on one side of the door which is kind of cost cutting. There are a lot of cuts and creases in the side of the car and overall side appeal is a very compact and sporty looking car. Let's get into the rear of the car. The front lights have the similar design to the rear lights. This red and black finishing makes it look like a premium SUV. This glossy black line reduces the visual bulk of the car. It gets a shark fin antenna, a washer, a defogger and a wiper. You get this red turbo badging along with two functional exhausts. You get a reverse parking camera along with reverse parking sensors. Let's get into the boot of the car. The best part about the car is the boot. It has a 433 litre capacity along with a parcel shelf and the spare tire is not an alloy and is a smaller size tire. And let's get into the car. The doors open really wide and it's a very nice touch to have sun blinds inserted into the door. The black, the silver, the leather along with the red stitching make it look very premium. You get both speakers along with nice big bottle holders. The headroom is really nice. Under the support could have been better. The knee room is also really nice. It gets this red outline for the AC vents. You have an air purifier. The seats get this honeycomb design. And the leather along with the red stitching makes it look very premium. Let's get into the driver's seat of the car. See how it feels opening the massive panoramic sunroof. It opens really wide making the cabin feel very airy. The red and the black finishing on the dashboard makes it look very premium and sporty. The best part about this car is the dashboard. The steering wheel is mostly seen as Audi cars with the flat bottom finishing. It gets paddle shifters which are very nice to use. You get this 7-inch multi-information display. It gets a 10.25-inch touchscreen. And this gear rod is also seen in most Audi cars. It gets an electric parking brake along with an auto hold function. It gets ventilated seats and drive and terrain controls. You also get a wireless charging pad. This area looks kind of bland without any finishing could have been better it gets an auto dimming inside rear view mirror and a massive panoramic sunroof the interiors are very pleasing and premium mostly seen in audi cars and the best place to be in Overall, it's a very good package for 21 lakhs. Is it worth the wait of 9 months? Is it better than rivals? We'll cover that up in the next video. For now, bye and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.